Good morning, happy Friday. Vita here back with another collective general re bleh, reading. Take what resonates and kick rocks to the rest. We've got some interesting cards that have come out in the pre-shuffle. The uh, leading energy is you will marry me someday. I will have it no other way. So there's someone here that you know that is very determined to take your hand in marriage. They will have it no other way. We have a very extroverted energy here that's intuitive, a thinker, somewhat judgmental. They're frank and decisive. This could be a Leo. This personality type is ENTJ. This person could have these initials, letters in their name. We then have, you are here to master your energy. In fact, you are here to master your energy. You're doing an excellent job of mastering your energy. And then we have, you have the aura of an angel, but even auras can be deceiving. So you're mastering your energy. There's someone that sees you as very deceptive. They find you to be a bit tricky. They can't put a finger on your personality. They're just not sure which way you'll, you'll move next. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. And then we have, and God asked the man, who do you think you are? The man could not answer because he didn't know. You command no one. That is who you are. So this person has tried to control your life in some sort of way. God has stepped in. Let them know you are this angelic being. Your aura cannot be tampered with. You're a master of your energy. You're mastering your energy. So let's get some more clarity with the archetype cards. ENTJ, personality type Leo. This could be someone who's in a leadership position. Oh no, what do we have? We have Virgin at the bottom. You could be this Leo. You've got a symbolic purity of both heart and spirit. The cards that have come out, we have four here. So exorcist, slave, goddess, and servant, freeing yourself. You freed yourself from this person and perhaps even destructive impulses. Or you've got this other energy here who's not quite sure who they are. They haven't been able to free themselves of their own demons. We have slave, surrendering your power of choice to the divine. So there could be a Leo surrounding you that is uh, very much intrigued. They see you as quite regal, expressing your life through wisdom. You're a natural life force, sensual. This person could be very sensual, a servant, delights in serving others with a free and loving heart. You delight in serving others. Let's get some pepper for these four cards just to see. This feels like multiple energies. Exorcist. I just saw change. Someone wants to change a situation with you. Exorcist. Someone wants to have a frank discussion with you. Lay some things on the line. Alternative. Someone wants to give you a alternative choice to where you're headed now to where you're going now exorcist is clarified by main male and expectation hmm now we're getting into some interesting water here let's see what do we have for slave there's a main male could be this leo wants to have a discussion wants to take the lead in this relationship, a well-informed individual, slave. They think they know a lot about you. Mature man is in the reverse. So we've got two different energies, a mature man who's not too mature, courthouse. These could be two masculines that work together in a courtroom setting. Why is servant here? Something to do with court proceedings. 
servant, something to do with you. Uh, judication is clarifying servant, and then we have despair. So there is some sort of karmic cleansing, a judgment that's been made. The shadow here is using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward in life. Someone feels stuck. They can't move forward. They're in despair. Why is goddess here? Courthouse clarifying goddess. And then we have imprisonment. Oh my. So for the shadow goddess, exploitation of the female nature and form. And then we have courthouse with judication, mature man that's in the reverse. So there's someone that could have been in trouble for exploiting a feminine energy. They could be in a lot of trouble, could be facing prison, stuck in their head. Or this could be your energy, this goddess energy. Judgment's been called because of the continued tampering with your life. Let's go back to this. You are here to master your energy. God. So we've got goddess and God. Benevolence and compassion. Recognizing the external force within yourself. So... That's what you're mastering, your own internal power and how to externalize your power in a meaningful way. You have the aura of an angel, but even auras can be deceiving. So there's darkness that embodies you and someone sees you as uh, sometimes not too nice. But why is that God? Cruelty, using power to control people. Someone has tried to control you. It's brought out your cruel streak. Someone sees you as cruel. You have the aura of an angel. Okay, well, we've got some interesting popping going on with the cards. Midas, miser. It landed on this side. and We've already got issues with money that's coming through here with a mature man that's in the reverse. Could be holding on too tight to whatever assets they have, hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing. This person is very much afraid, whoever this mature man is in reverse, that could be a Leo, that could be in a leadership position because we've got this corresponding red, I mean not red, excuse me, green here. Very similar colors, uh, color, yeah, almost matches so I'll leave this Midas Miser over here. And beneath that, we have Child Divine, Hero, Heroine. So you are a child of the divine. Someone sees you as heroic. They perhaps want to come to you. They need your assistance. You have the aura of an angel. Tricky. You have to be tricky. Athlete. Scribe writing you could be a writer you have a lot of knowledge you're very informed about what's going on around you and god asked the man god asked the man and we have two masculine energies here so it, these men could be questioning where they are right now in this life what is happening to them they're not sure why these Things are happening to them. This depletion of accumulated wealth that might have happened through ill-gained practices, ill-gained wealth. Gossip just came out and we have another color sink storyteller. So there's been a lot of gossip going on about whatever situation this is between these two fellas here, these two gentlemen here thrives on the power of passing on private and secret information, betrays confidences. One or both of these people could have betrayed your confidence with each other or a group of people. They are now asking why they've done these things. Why do we have God here? 
courtship is in the reverse, and then we have main female. So there's a contract that's been canceled. Divine contract that's been canceled. Scribe. Why scribe here? Bad health. Clarifying scribe, which is on top of you have the aura of an angel. But even auras can be deceiving, altering facts and plagiarizing others. Work is a shadow lover. Someone's in very ill health. This could be a past lover. They're blaming you. They're blaming you. They want you to be ill. You could be receiving some form of communication from this person. Why is gossip here? Someone definitely wants to speak with you, have a sit-down conversation, gossip, occupation, false person. So there's been some plagiarism. There's been some altering of documents, of facts. It's uh, gone to the courts involving a job, a career, false charges, misdemeanor, misdemeanor. False person, thief. It's got to do with theft. Main female, great fortune, unexpected income, thoughts. Thinking a lot about money, great fortunes being lost, transferred. Hmm. Let's get some tarot. Okay, so my spread's kind of all over. But let's see, I'll just try to make the best of this. Main male. Number one, Ooh, tower, and it did a flip. So these are multiple towers coming through, a lot of chaos. This main male is surrounded by chaos. He's created chaos. There's unexpected disasters that he's not yet aware of. Then we have full at the bottom, followed by ace of pentacles and six of swords, trying to get away, trying to escape. Why is mature man here in reverse? They want to come toward you. This main male wants to come toward you. Three of swords, clarifying this mature man that's in the reverse. Nine of cups, you are this person's wish, you are the sun. They're not giving up on you. So this mature man in reverse could be the energy that is insistent on wanting to have you permanently in their life. This is followed by an INTJ, personality type Scorpio, introverted, original mind, skeptical. You're skeptical of this person. Whatever they have up their sleeve, you're very skeptical. They could be wanting to reach out to you ASAP. Something's going on with their heart. We've got bad health here. Three of swords, heartbroken. Heartbroken about many losses. Adjudication. Knight of Cups, it's in the upright. Romantic proposal, adjudication, servant. Ten of Pentacles. So someone wants to offer you a marriage proposal. We've got marriage here. Proposal, servant, adjudication. Why is courthouse here? Let me get more clarity. Courthouse. Magician and it's sideways in the reverse. So Blocked creativity. Someone wants to block your creativity. Ten of Wands is at the bottom. You could be feeling a bit burdened by this energy that's very insistent. This person tried to pull some shenanigans in a courtroom. Didn't turn out too well for them. Why is occupation here with gossip? A lot of gossip going on in the workplace. 
clarified by this Eight of Pentacles, and then we've got Seven of Wands. So there is something involving a workplace environment that is um, turned into a legal disaster for more than one person, perhaps the entire business, whatever this business is. Huh. Someone's working really hard to try to get out of this mess to reverse their losses, to stop their losses. Why is bad health here? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is clarifying bad health with Scribe. You have the aura of an angel. And then we have King of Wands. So this is just no good right here. This is no good right here. So... Be very mindful of any documents you might be receiving or asked to sign. There's a lot of deception here. We do have the word deceiving. So there could be someone coming to you that does have the aura of an angel, but it's a very dark aura, fallen angel, bad health. They want you to be in bad health. They're up to no good masquerading as a friend they're coming in to masquerade as a friend king of wands two of cups knight of pentacles and then we have the empress and the ace of wands followed by judgment so whatever shenanigans these are they've already been nipped in the bud by spirit by the divine these dark magicians that keep coming for you, just they can't get a leg up on this situation, whatever this is. Now we've got Page of Wands at the bottom. Let's get another card for this Three of Swords. I'm going to use another deck. Three of Swords. We've got four of wands and then we have seven of pentacles. So this is about a home, a foundation, a foundation that's been decimated, crumbling of sorts. There's a crumbling going on in both of these masculines' lives. Huh. This could be a very close friendship, companionship between these two masculines that has crumbled. They could both be fighting over you. They've definitely hurt each other. These two masculines have gone at it. They've hurt each other and caused uh, insurmountable damage, insurmountable damage that can't be reversed but they're looking for a reversal of, of fate. Someone's looking for a reversal of fate. They've got their eye on you. They want you to help them reverse their fate, perhaps by coming to you with this marriage proposal that's tricky. Goddess. We've got magician in the reverse with courthouse goddess. So we have... King of Wands again at the bottom. And now we've got the Sun and Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, and then this Six of Wands. So this is about someone that believes that they can have victory with you. And we have the Fool that's in the reverse that landed on this Midas Miser. This Fool is blindfolded here cannot see in front of them, has made some really bad choices that are being broadcast, gossiped about. Very afraid of the fires they've created. They can't breathe because there's too much smoke. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Eight of Swords is clarifying Knight of Cups, and then we have Three of Pentacles. So, a lot of sorrow, a lot of despair, not sure 
who to trust, a lot of distrust here, and not just the earthly realm, but the spiritual realm. Someone has been practicing darker magic and it's backfired tremendously. Eight of Swords, Entrapment. We've got Judication and Courthouse and now Eight of Swords. So this certainly could be about someone losing their freedom, their physical freedom. It's caused them to be quite ill, perhaps mentally and physically. Oh, goodness, why is courthouse here in the, I mean, courtship in the reverse? This person who wants to marry you knows that that is not really a logical want for them to have. King of Cups is at the bottom emotionally stable. We've got King of Pentacles in the upright. Then we have Ten of Cups and Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands. This is all clarifying this courtship that's in the reverse with God and you are here to master your, your energy. This person or these persons have not mastered their energy. There's been a relationships that have completely crumbled this could be a marriage here with this king of pentacles someone's already married or yeah we'll see this ten of cups here you just have two hands tattooed love on one the separation that is going on between you and this person um, is uh, it's causing a lot of uh, lightning bolts. There's a lot of uh, bolts of energy that are being delivered, shelled out. And there's a lot of concern about new love coming toward you. This also has this person blinded in not just pain, but what feels a little bit like rage. So someone's raging a little bit. Let's see, what do we get from this deck? Release your power. So you've released your power. You're continuing to release your power. You're working on something that's going to elevate you to another level in the material realm. And someone is watching you. More than one person is watching you. They're concerned about this power that you have unleashed whatever these uh these very warped energies that have sent some sort of daggers your way with the seven of swords were all returned it's time to be brave someone wants to approach you but they're a bit afraid they're afraid you've been brave you're going to continue to be brave you might have recently endured a few knocks in the head even something has kind of uh maybe thrown you for a loop but you've recovered you're recovering you're more determined than ever to keep moving progressing ahead anything else dress of alchemy you're a force you're fierce you're divine Oh my goodness. So we have stifled, bored, and stuck ghost people. So these are people from your past. These are people from your past. You could be dreaming about these people. Someone in the dream state is trying to warn you to stay away from this main male that's in the upright. They are wanting to convey, convey to you that this person is uh, evil and that they have very ill intentions toward you, but they're going to pretend that they're angelic, that you, you, you share the same soul. Back off. They've been warned to back off. So let's get some final messages. One of these days, I'm gonna get me a happy-go-lucky reading, man. <laughs> Black magic backfires and it came out in the reverse.
corrupt local politician. This card showed up two times yesterday in yesterday's reading. They tell people you are a psychopath because they because you aren't afraid. And then we have release your power. So you're not afraid. And you could be dealing with people that are involved with local politics. And this black magic, it didn't just black fire, backfire. I said black fire, black fire. Oh my. So this black magic with this magician in reverse, it did not just backfire. It unleashed, it expanded. It went in a whole bunch of different directions, creating multiple towers that continue to, uh, this is a long lasting tower right here. The bricks are going to fall slowly and you're going to start to see, you're going to start to see this play out if you aren't already. Anything else? Whoa. All right. Look smart but stupid. Educated people. Ships are sinking fast. They try to sink your ship. It's in the reverse. Black magic backfires in the reverse. They try to sink your ship, your ships, your investments, your foundation, but everything reverted. And now here they are once again gossiping about you, telling people that you're mentally unstable. You think you're this and you're that. And they could even be telling people that you're harassing them, coming at them, that you're deluded, demented. You think you're a god. There's a lot of yammering that this person is doing about you. And yet they still are trying to figure out how to come toward you with some sort of marriage proposal. So this is quite interesting, collective. Um, I will see you guys soon in another video.